Hello, my name is Tim Murdoch and welcome to Happy Horror Time. My guest today is Mr. John Fleming. You might have seen him on sitcoms, stage and screen. So John, where are you from? What made you decide to jump into the acting world? Uh, I grew up in Wisconsin and uh, I never did any acting until after school. So what I did was I went to New York for a little bit to do some modeling. Kind of got talked into acting, fell in love with it, took some classes and uh, preferred the warm weather to California. So then I moved out here and uh, ended up going back to New York just a while ago to do a play. But oh, yeah. that's kind of how I got, got my start into it. So it wasn't until like later in life. Growing up, I just played sports and hung out with friends and stuff like that and doing plays. So you just finished that show in New York City. Yeah, we're going to uh, possibly do another run coming up. We're actually in talks with that, just doing a run out here in Los Angeles. So What's the title? It's called Him. Him. Yeah. And um, can you tell me about that? Yeah, basically, um, it's been described as a uh, cross between Sex and the City and Entourage. Oh, okay. um, I play a movie star who has a manager who has ulterior motives for who I date, personally <laughs> and professionally. So it's it's a big love triangle soap opera type deal, but it's a lot of fun. So, so which do you prefer? Do you prefer being on stage or a television show, like a sitcom or an hour long drama, or which do you prefer? Uh, they're all different and exciting for their own purposes. Um, I really enjoy doing the play. I felt like from an acting standpoint, I like the uh, the energy of you know being able to form in front of a live audience. So that was the first time I've done that. So I really enjoyed that. So. Okay, okay now, so I'm just gonna jump right into the horror aspects because I have the need to know. Uh, um, okay, so I watched your film Camp Slaughter and it's also <laughs> Camp Days. Camp Days, yeah. So why, there's two titles, why? Uh, the original title was Camp Days and then um, the distributors who bought it changed it to Camp Slaughter. They figured it'd be more uh, attention grabbing. Now, <laughs> I, I loved it because it's very reminiscent of Friday 13th, but it also has like an element of Groundhog's Day, um, Back to the Future, and uh, there was another, oh, of course, Friday 13th. So tell me about your character in that. Uh, I play a camp counselor. It, it takes place in 1981. He's the cocky jockey counselor, and um, everyone has to be nice to him, but you could tell everyone dislikes him, and uh, he tends to take everything a little overboard like of a basketball game he always a little fight will break out or something like that but he ends up being one of the villains and not to spoil the movie you haven't seen it but um yeah i was just about to say <laughs> i was like do i spoil the ending or? uh we won't spoil the ending he's, he's just a bad guy okay, okay. well i mean spoiler alert i kind of want to i kind of want to reveal the ending okay, okay. Go for it. so he's the killer in it yes. and uh, <laughs> so but you also are the killer in frat house massacre as well correct um another you know, flashback piece, uh, Frat House Massacre takes place uh, 1979 in the Midwest, and I play Mark, who is a president of a fraternity. And Mark is a cokehead, racist, homophobic, murderer, and basically... I like him. <laughs> <laughs> he takes, um, it explores like the elements of hazing. What we did in the film was um, some of the... Uh, hazing that we did in the film actually was inspired by true events and i was gonna say because that we just me, took it to another level yes <laughs> that was really hard to watch like that was i'm not gonna sprinkle any sugar on it that was like really hard for, that's like not casual viewing like for a horror film like i was like wow just because it reminded me of like last house on the left like it was really like in your face <laughs> yeah, you're, not, you're not the only one that's expressed that i i agree I'm with like, that Ooh. Yeah, that was definitely a shock to me and it actually like reading about some of the hazing that actually happened and you know was seeing this I was like that's pretty intense you know I was so. I, I thought it was because you know um, camp days was a little more li not lighthearted because murder is lighthearted <laughs> but um it definitely had a campier feel to it yeah, yeah yeah totally like I loved that and I did like frat house massacre but I I was just like okay now I have to ask this there's a scene in the film where a girl gets beat up and then she's peed on by you. Um, <laughs> how did that scene come about? Um, I used to listen to a lot of R. Kelly. So I, was, uh, <laughs> I wanted to do a tribute to R. Kelly. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So was that your idea? <laughs> um, basically, it, was, it wasn't my idea. I went with it. I just, our goal, you know, as you know, the director and you know, speaking with him and stuff, what we want is basically at the end of the film, you want this guy to be the most hated guy in the world. What could be the most vulgar thing you can do to someone? I, you know, said pee on someone, and <laughs> so we we went with it. So I figured, you know, thirty-eight murders. You know, what's what's a 
you know, with a little pee session, you know, so. Um, I, I, you know, I just, that's something in cinema I've never seen before. Oh, <laughs> hopefully I paved the way for uh, yes, other yes. actors. Yep. Um, <laughs> what is your favorite scary movie? Um, I like all the Halloweens, probably uh, Halloween 2. Halloween 2? Or uh, what's the, uh, the Season of the Witch? That was three. That was three, yeah. Oh, okay, I just, I, like, mm. I just, I love, you know, I love that song. I just, it's just catchy and it's. Um... Would you be willing to sing it? <laughs> well, what is it now? It's, uh, we'll just go with the, uh, what is it, 20, 27 days? Uh, 28? I, yeah, that's right. Halloween. Yeah, 28 days till Halloween, <laughs> Halloween, Halloween, 28 days till Halloween, silver shamrock. That was great. <laughs> I, give you, I give you props for singing that. Oh, thank Because um, I was actually going to try to sing it, but I have I was hoping you would have joined in. I was going yeah. to sing a duet, but you were doing yeah. so good on your own. Please give me a little beatbox. I was. I was. <laughs> but yeah. I have a little quiz for you. Oh, all right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Who played Gail Weathers in Scream? Um, I'll give you a clue. She's on a hit sitcom called Friends. Oh, uh, Arquette. Uh, what's her name? She played Monica. Very good. Uh, I think that we'll give it to yeah. you. We'll give it to you. That's good. It was Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox. Okay. What seventh heaven star was in the 2000 remake of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Wow. My seventh heaven DVDs have a scratch in it, so right. I've been keeping up on it. Uh, so. I'll give you a clue. <laughs> she it may be the future uh, Timberlake wife. I have, to, have to, I have to phone a friend on this one. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, I'll just give it to you. Okay. It's uh, Jessica Biel. Jessica Biel, all right. Okay, good job. All right, so one... One point. Okay. Okay. Um, what Friday the 13th sequel does Jason get his hockey mask? Third. Perfect. Wow, I'm very impressed with that. And a lot of people don't know that. Okay. How many Saw movies are there? Mm. I want to say seven. Oh, that is perfect. I'm very impressed. <laughs> this is the last question. All right. What was the camp called in your film, Camp Slaughter? Hiawatha. Oh, damn it. What the hell? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Tim Murdoch, and I was here with John Fleming. And... Thank you for watching. Happy Horror Time!